ready for his television debut, why he's so special, and all the rest of the birds here are just as special. Coming up a little bit later on in the show, you guys. I like the faux hawk there. Yeah, it's up and down. Big personality that bird has. The faux hawk is great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Okay. Some feathered friends, a new lease on life. Hi, Lauren. Well, we're making a lot of really good friends here at the Magnolia Exotic Bird Sanctuary. Some special animals right here for many reasons, and one of which is because they can sing sometimes. Take a listen. You want to sing for us? Oh, my God, I had a fun. Cops are coming, cops are coming. Woo, 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 woo. What? Say organization giving neglected exotic birds a second chance. And Lauren, they can talk and sing. They can do it all. You guys, I thought that we did a lot of talking and singing, but let me tell you something. Here at the Magnolia Exotic Bird Sanctuary, there are so many wonderful people behind the scenes, and they're giving these birds that have been neglected a second chance, and there's really a great story behind them. And we are for sure going to be talking to a very special one. Oh, oh, that's Mr. P. He's the ambassador here. He's going to be in our segment when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. Hi there. Hi, Mr. P. Hi. Oh, welcome back to the show. You know, we've been showing you some video and Lauren Kelly is at the Magnolia Exotic Bird Sanctuary. This is run by family. It's a nonprofit organization dedicated to the rescue and protection of neglected and abandoned parrots. They talk and sing too. The organization provides shelter, education and adoption services, all with the hope of saving one parrot at a time. Lauren Kelly is live in Magnolia this afternoon with a closer look at how we can help these beautiful and very interesting birds full of personality, Lauren. Very interesting and full of personality is a perfect way to describe these birds, Derek. I don't know if you guys can take a look behind me, but here they have over 150 different birds that they have rescued from neglected, different settings and different houses, or maybe even just people that can no longer take care of their pets. And this is truly a magnificent family-run nonprofit organization who really rely on the volunteering of others. I'm here with sisters Sharon and Candace here. Thank you for having us out today and just sharing your passion of what you do. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about the mission here? Our mission is to protect and prevent the suffering of companion parrots. So what that entails is pretty much what you see here. When we receive birds from various places, seizures, people that don't want them anymore, they pass away, uh, hurt. From all over the country. All over the country. Yeah. Uh, hurricane victims, natural disasters, we know that parrots can live up to 80 years old. Some of them can. And unfortunately, they live out most of their owners, uh, which includes the baby boomers, and they have nowhere to go. So uh, this is what we do. This is your life, your passion. And, and, and Sharon, we were speaking earlier about how long that you have been taking care of birds half of your whole life. Pretty much my whole life. For yeah. the past 34 years, I've been adamant and passionate about it so it's 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 been a long time and you guys rely really on the volunteers of others to make this place run and you have so many birds to take care of but this is a great place for them to come and, and just kind of relearn some of those things they may have lost in a different setting right yes yes we give them aviaries to fly and they've probably had come from little tiny cages in somebody's house. Um, so yeah, and then they, they're on a good diet. And you know, a lot of uh, bird owners don't know that they need special food and toys and enrichment and stuff like that to keep them happy and healthy. So it, it's, it, it's what we do. We, and, you know, and we also try to teach the public this also. Absolutely. I want to mention, so you have Mr. P, he's mm -hmm. the ambassador here with you, and people are probably curious as to why he doesn't have all of his feathers. Yes. And so when a lot of people come out to visit, if they make an appointment with you to mm -hmm. come visit, you explain to them what happens, why he has a lot less feathers than others. We do, yes. And um, do you want me to explain? Explain why he has less feathers. Yeah, why okay. don't you tell everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Is it funny? Um, he was locked in a dark room in a cage for many, many years, and um, he, they, when they're stressed or don't have that companionship of people or other birds, they're flock animals, so they have to have that, and um, so he spent his whole 
many years, he's about 25, um, plucking out his feathers and, um, you know, his face. He would rub his face on the wires because he had nothing to do, so it would get all the um, feathers off of his face. But now he's so much happier and he's in such a great spot and he's so cuddly and and he even sat on my shoulder. Can we get him to do it? <gasps> Sharon and Candace, I, I might have to have another pet. I think I might have to ask my dogs, Minnie and Zoe, if they can have him come up. Oh, can you make up. him dance? Oh, Derek and Courtney, he'd fit right in with the Houston Life team. He loves to dance and sing. I love it, Sharon Lauren. And Candace, thank you so much. Got a little Sidekick. Thank you so much for sharing what you do. Yes, I got a sidekick. It's wonderful, Thank and you. we appreciate you doing that. Why don't you give everybody the website really fast? If you need to get a hold of us, please go to our website, www.magnoliaexoticbirdsanctuary.org, and send us a message. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. I'm taking home like four, four different birds today. Some of these birds are magnificent, and it's really, really wonderful, ladies. Thank you so much. Thank Did you, you see how cute Mr. P is, you guys? So cute. <laughs> we can't even stand it, Lauren. Thank you so much. Incredible work, too. Absolutely. Sure. Thanks, Lauren. Well, coming up.